this is a perfect way to catch you a lot of good eating catfish and do it in a simple way. This is called Magic Bait. Now you can get this at your local Walmart. All of them carry it. This is an excellent uh, selection, bait selection for what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be fishing specifically for channel cat. And the reason why I'm using this, and they make a couple different flavors. This is grasshopper and chicken blood. And I also have some in here that's chicken blood. Just chicken blood. But anyway, the reason why they're hitting this stinking, stinking stuff, let me show you. Oh my goodness, that stinks. I cannot tell you how bad that stinks, okay? You can imagine, what, okay, see what it looks like? It stinks just as bad as the real thing, but that's good. Shoo wee, man, it stinks. It stinks so. But the reason why it's working here around these barges is because this is where corn and also grain is loaded up onto these barges. And a lot of it spilling over into the water, sinking to the bottom, souring. Oh, it stinks. A lot of it's floating up here on the surface right now. And I'll show that to you. But most of it's on the bottom. And in this hot water, it will sour and stink just as bad as this. Now, these channel cats will draw around these bar uh, barges, especially when there's a spill. And they'll feed on the grain and the corn because it stinks. They're used to feeding on stinking stuff. So that's why this is very, very effective. It's just that simple. This is a situation type deal. Okay. But this is not the only situation that this kind of stuff will work. It'll work in creeks, small rivers when it comes to channel cat. All right, folks, let's open up some of this stinking, stinking stuff right here. Let's see. Oh, boy, that stinks. I can't tell y'all how that stinks. Now, this is an excellent channel cat bait, especially in a situation like this. And what I do is just like I'm doing right there. I'll pack it on. I don't just hook it on. I pack it on like that. Real tight. And this stuff, believe it or not, it don't come off too easy. All right, let's get busy. Let's see. Yeah, it's still showing some fish there. Now, sometimes, you know, you have to mess around with this stuff. I mean, sometimes you need to fish up off the bottom, oh, a foot to four feet. And a lot of times you need that weight to be right on the bottom. And sometimes the weight to be just off the bottom. I mean, just off the bottom. Now, that's something you'll have to play with. Um, anytime you're catfishing, no matter if you're fishing like this or with uh, live bait or cut bait, you know, a lot of times, you, sometimes you'll catch more fish off the bottom is what I'm saying. And there he is, folks. There he is. See, it's that simple. There's not much to it at all. That fish was stripping some drag, let me loosen off. This is a pretty good one right here. Not a bad one at all. Ooh, that fish, I can't tell y'all how that fish is pulling. Wow, y'all see that? Watch him right here. We're just going to have her fun. I'm using extra light tackle right here. Extra light tackle. But now this is what I'm talking about. When you're talking about the sport of fishing, 
this is what I'm trying to talk about. Just take your time, have your fun, wear him down. And by the way, that didn't take long at all. That was real, real quick. That's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Channel Cat. All right, let's go ahead and get the net on him. Quit. I got him. Would you quit? All right, there we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That was a lot of fun right here. Dip a little water right here so we don't hurt our fish. That was a lot of fun. And it's a simple way to fish. Simple, like I've always said, folks, is better. Okay, let me repeat that. Simple is better. <gasps> Woo. Doggone. Woo. All right, folks. <laughs> That's the first fish come real quick. I knew it would. There's a lot of fish out here right now. And what's going on is is something that I want to that is kind of unique. Um, and I'm sure on your river system or lake you may have the same situation going. But I'm going to go ahead and hook this fish. We're going to let him go. Now I'm using a two out circle hook. This is a sea guard circle hook made by Eagle Claw. And to get them out is real easy. A lot of people struggle, especially those who's just now using circle hooks. You just grab, you just grab right here just as close to the point as you can and just twist and it comes right out. But that's a pretty good channel cat. Let's let him go. <laughs> there he goes. Let me show you what I'm using. Now this is a lot of fun right here. This is a five foot four Z-Man Drew's uh, rod right here. Light as a feather. Oh my goodness, it's limber, but not too limber. Um, it has enough backbone to do what we're gonna be doing today. But it's light in, in your hand. I mean, it's very light. And I'm using a, a Fluger president reel it's just a little crappie reel um, much smaller than a 1000 size reel real small tiny now as far as my my setup right here this is just a 1 8 ounce egg weight and right here I have crimped a small split shot with about a foot maybe 13 inches of leader right there onto a two wall eagle claw uh, circle hook right here made by seagar seagar circle hook now that connection right there at the hook is a palomar knot that's my favorite when you go directly to braid i'm just going directly to braid and this is going to be a lot of fun folks there's a lot of fish out there in front of this barge Let's put it on this two all cir circle hook right here. Okay. Let's just mold it to the hook, bond it, just like that. Now that right there, I get him. All right, we're in 13 feet of water right here. 13 feet. Let's pitch it on out right here. There's the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is just barely lift it off the bottom. Not fur at all. And we're going to fish real slow down through here. Just hold her rod. Now I see some fish there. There's no doubt. No doubt there's some fish right there. See them, I see them on my depth finder. Y'all see that? That's a combination of shad and channel cat. Look here, I'm, not, I'm done getting a bite. There he is. <laughs> now this one right here is a lot better fish 
matter of fact, this is a good fish right here. I'm going to have to unloosen that drag big time. I don't know what we've got, but we've got a good one. He hit just like a, a channel cat would. Pecked it once. That's usually the way they hit on this bait right here. They'll peck it once, maybe twice. Then they'll haul buggy with it. This one hit exactly the same, but this is a good fish. This could could be a big old buffalo. Could be a big carp. Or it could be a catfish. I'm not sure. I, all I know is that he's mean. Uh, keep messing around with that drag. Eight pound braid is strong, especially if you tie it direct like I did. There's no double, there's no uni knot or no other connection to a mono leader or fluorocarbon leader. So there's virtually no weak spots. So I'm not worried about this fish breaking my line. Definitely a catfish. Just a big old channel. Big channel. Y'all yeah, look at there, what a big channel cat. Golly. Now that's big. For this part of the country, that's a big one. This tackle is so light that it's, this is just a lot of fun. Quit. Look at there. Golly. Now that's a big channel. Let's get us a lot of water up here. I'm gonna protect this fish. Now if I was gonna eat him, I wouldn't do all this, folks. But we're gonna protect him, we're gonna take a look at him, then we're gonna let him go. This is a big one. There we go. Now, I recognize the fact there's some parts of the United States where this ain't a real big, channel cat. I mean, it would be a decent one. But here for this part of the country, the reason why it's a big one is I've read articles and it makes sense to me. Usually, the, if you have a body of water that is inhabited by blue cat, for some reason, channel cat don't get very big. Now, I don't understand that. I don't know if it's so, but I read an article about that. But if, if blue cat don't exist, in a river system, the channel cat will get really big, but that's a good one. Anyway, let's let it go. All right, boy. We didn't have him out of the water that long. Go on back. One thing about catfish that I like, they're real resilient and tough. There's a big word. I'm gonna practice that word, resilient, because I can pronounce it. And, you know, if I can get enough big words remembered and, and, and their exact meaning, it's possible that, that I'll sound big. Okay, folks, let's look down right here. Y'all see that? They just have, an old boy just come down through here and ruck out. Uh, quite a bit of grain and that's what they're feeding on. There's corn mixed up in that See a lot of that floated, but a lot of it did sink That's what I'm talking about Right there Folks look what I just got out of the water right here That is a small spotty bass by the looks of it and in his mouth is a small shad Now this spotty bass is about three inches long and what had happened, no doubt, this fish killed itself eating the shad. It got lodged. Y'all can see that. that let's, let's look at this. It got lodged in his throat and killed him. That's what happened. And we just got a bite right here. I just got a bump. I seen it floating in the water right here. I had to show that to y'all. If 
that not interesting? All right, let's let him go. That shows you how mean a bass is. I'm just going along these barges right here, looking for fish on my depth finder. Here comes some right here. Y'all can see. See that? That could be shad or anything. But if it's a catfish, <laughs> they'll sure grab that bait. There's a lot of this floating. This looks like a soybean. That's what these fish is eating. Once it waterlogs and goes to the bottom, they'll feed on it. Yeah, that's a, that's a soybean. And there's also some corn. Soybean, corn, stuff like that. These catfish are eating. There's a lot of carp in here too. Every once in a while, want to jump, big old carp. So this would be a good place to carp fish too. Y'all see these? Those are shad. Now, that's that far up off the bottom, uh, probably shad. What I'm looking for is stuff like this. Fish that's closer to the bottom or right on the bottom. See right here, shad, and that's probably a catfish or carp. There's another group of little fish, but they're not all catfish. They could be <laughs> most anything, but that's how these catfish are showing up. There he goes. There he goes. Got him. He just kept messing with that, messing with it. And he finally messed up. Finally messed up, folks. I don't know why it took him so long to obligate. That was the first one that's done that. Pretty good fish. They all are. Now I'm, I'm fishing super light, as y'all know. And on purpose. To make it, make it fun. I thought he was a little bit smaller than that. He's a pretty good one. Pretty good fish. Now, when you downsize like this, you surely have got your hands full when it comes to, to catfish. <laughs> a lot of fun, folks. Here he comes. We're finally going to build a seed. That's a good one. Hard pulling thing. That's a pretty fish, too. Golly. My wrist is hurting and my forearm. Now that's when you know you're doing something right. Okay, let's just go ahead and net him. Make it easy on him and me and quit. There he goes. Another good catfish. That was quite a battle. What would you quit? They're so strong, folks. That was quite a battle right there. Look at that broad tail. That's the reason. That's the reason right there, that broad, broad tail. We're going to just go ahead and let him go. He's about the size of the last one I caught. He may be a little heavier, but going back. Now that's what I call a lot of fun. That's real sporty. It's easy to do. Just make you a, a trip to Wally World, you know, and get you some of that stuff if you want to get you some channel cats. Get you some of it. It stinks like a like a, a small poop. But but you can hey wash your hands. There's plenty of water out here. Shoo wee. Hey man. Whoa. God. Woo, woo, woo. Let's catch. Okay, calm down, Richard. I'm spazzing out, folks. I'm tired of being yelled at and screamed at and looked at mean and uh, stuff like that. They ain't no woman gonna start telling me what to do. You know, folks, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that poultry, okay, is just another way of saying chicken. Well, 
folks, that's the way it goes sometimes. I was just getting started. A lot of fish around these barges. Um, I missed a couple, of course. You're going to miss a couple. But that is a very effective bait to fish in this type of situation. Just for the simple fact that it does stink. But uh, we're going to get on out of here. It's fixing to get rough, but what a blessing it was, folks. What a blessing. Each and every day is one. Count them, and you'll see. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel is very much appreciated. Whoa. It smells, it smells of, of, it smells of droppings! <laughs>